Welcome back to my channel. This is the area where I plan the most. This is my table in my kitchen and this is the table where we eat at the most and I take a corner and plan. My most biggest, um, the planners that I keep here are as my 2023 monthly calendar. So that's for the whole year. A journal, my personal wide, and my basic slim. My personal wide is just a companion to my basic slim. I always try to keep it open and um, something that's kind of motivating me, something that kind of like is pretty to look at. I have my most used supplies over here and it's something that really will kind of keep me accountable. Um, I like to flip through it um, all throughout the day. I like to um, I will flip through every single section every single day, which is why I write multiple things in it because I feel like when I'm looking at it, um, I always have something there that I can either put on my brain dump or my dailies or on a sticky note or I can go through past dailies and see if there was something that I didn't get to finish and migrate. Um, I do have a weekly section as well that just kind of keeps me accountable as well. Uh, these are brand new weeklies. I will get into that in a later video. I'm keeping just like this area for a commonplace area. So I love, love, love the rings. This is my main planner. And I always have to have like a bound book. I always have to have, and this is a, as a well, a monthly book, but now I'm fitting in two months into it. But I always have to have bound and um, rings. I don't know, it just really, really works well for me. But there are other places throughout the house where I will put another planner on purpose because I'm not just in this area all the time. So I thought it'd be fun to show you those different ones. They may be not touched every single day, but they're there for when I wanna write something down. So now I'm over here in my other section. This is kinda of like in my living room slash little office area. We have a sectional thing here. And I thought to put this area because it has my computer. And for right now, I have been toying with the idea with this Nolte um, Listy. I have had this, um, I was using it in December. Just kind of like duplicate information, but I really lately have been trying to use this for um, like kind of time blocking. So I didn't use it at all, at all, at all. And then I have it here for Monday and Tuesday that I was just kind of, if I'm sitting over here, I can quickly look at a calendar and then, you know, write it down or just kind of time block. I don't know. I do like having a planner here in this area. I also have these. This is a personal motor, I mean, personal Filofax. That B6 Kiki K is a reference planner. I don't ever really show it because it has passwords, it has lists, it has like insurance information, it has things that, um, yeah, I don't feel like showing. So one thing I thought to do was to cut down Astology to this size so I can use this cover because I can easily take this book out. So if I don't want to use it as its intended purpose, I can do that. I really love looking at this right here. It just kind of reminds me of my family. So for right here, um, when I'm working on like real estate and stuff like that, I kind of, I'm not going to show the notes areas because that has information in there, but I like having a planner over here. So just recently, I kind of cleaned this area. I don't have any more planners right here. They're just all books. Well, wait, let me, let me. I have planners in these here, but I'm not really using them. They're kind of out of sight, out of mind. I have Julio VDS in here, Pocket TN and Pocket Rings, and then I have just like new books and like 
just covers that I'm not really using. There's happy planners down there. There's TN notebooks down there, washi tape and vellum, but I'm really just not using it. Um, the planners that I am showing in this video are ones that I'm actually really, really using. So this is one area that I have a planner at. I do have planner cart over here, but I do not have like planners per se. I've cleaned up this area where I just kind of have supplies. Like there's covers right here, but they're not here. So I will show you where I'm keeping all of my covers for right now because I just don't feel like dealing with them all. So here they are. <laughs> all of these covers, believe it or not, were downstairs in that area. And I just was getting super overwhelmed. Um, I don't need all these. I really don't. So I kind of put them in my daughter's closet. And if later on I want to, you know, take one out, play with it, do whatever I can. I don't have them. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath. Um, these are kind of like A6. These are D-ringed, personal. I have TNs. I have um, my Moterm Apricot, my VDS Personal Wide, TNs. These are kind of like A5 planners and TNs. Um, personal rings. As you can see, they're just kind of in here. These are all of my Monticello inserts that I didn't use for the year. Um, I have used this heavily in the past. So they're all just here. I can close the closet and don't fail. These are, you know, I have to use anything. So personal wide. So yeah, I just have all these right here. And I just wanted to kind of show you that. I put them away so this is another spot this is my homeschooling room this is where I have all of my monthly notebooks I even have covers there I have covers there covers in there um my daughter's you know does her her stuff in here we have like a whiteboard like this is all homeschool so when I'm sitting here um I have this I have had this for quite some time it's not even completely dated <laughs> in the correct year but I've used it before. Like that's therapy notes. I will use this for notes. Um, I kind of cleaned it out just recently. But if I ever want a weekly, I will I will come up here and do it and play. But this is just kind of what I keep in here. So these are old, old inserts from an Erin Condren. I think a friend had given them to me or I bought them from her. But either way, I kind of punch them in a disc bound. And if I ever need like a more structured day when I'm up here, I can flip it around. I could get some white out. I can white out the day. This is very thick paper. And then I can just go to town on doing a schedule, to-do list, whatever. And I've got a pretty good amount of dailies. Um, I also have this here if I want to write some notes in terms of her curriculum. I've got kind of a mess up here, but this is some of her curriculum that I have. So it's kind of like messy, but whatever. I'm up in here sometimes too. Um, just doing certain things with her, devotions, writing out stuff doing crafts and so if I ever need anything that I need to take downstairs I can kind of write that just cut it off go take it downstairs or just if I need a brain dump while I'm up here I can use this so this is another area where I kind of loosely plan so the very last area is my closet <laughs> I made a makeshift kind of little area. I'm going to try and do this without showing myself, but we have a walk-in closet, I like a refrigerator here. And I made this on purpose for kind of like my war room, my Bible study area. And I've got Bibles, I've got books, I've got, you know, um, the Vines Dictionary, 
Joyce Meyer's Bible, the ESV Bible. So if I ever need to come up in here, I have a chair. I'll pull down this book and I'll go to town. I'm not going to open it, but I will go to town in using it. I've got tips on um, deeper Bible study. That is a thing I did on my blog. I got like little things that encourage me, my family. I've got a clock. <laughs> I've got some um, things here if I need a light. I've got that light that works. Um, again, I have some, some books. The Power of a Positive Mom, Boundaries and Marriage, Jesus Always, Overcoming Fear and Anxiety, Unshakable Trust, The Mind Connection, Lies Women Believe, and a CEV Bible. I also have extra space for here. I just don't have anything there yet. And yeah, I just kind of have limited supplies in here if I need anything. But this is also another area where I plan. I made a little makeshift desk so I can, it's not sitting on that. <laughs> and so it was pretty funny because when I had this space covered in like clothes and like things that were just, OMG, what am I doing? I'm trying to get to January, but what are we in? I think we're on January 24th. I'm not too sure. I'll just change it. This is a devotion I got for when we got married from our pastors. So yeah, those are the places where I plan. Um, I also plan on the couch. I will take my stuff with me on the couch. I have a candle here for when I want to light it. There is an actual ceiling fan. So if I am worried about like, you know... The smell of the candle, I leave the door open. So, you know, I'm not sitting here um, inhaling all these crazy fumes. I've got a fridge, so if I want some water. This is one of my favorite places to sit. I've got my little chair. And I will sit here and pray. Sit here and just decompress in the morning. Um... I haven't used this space to its potential, but I'm on my way to do that. I mean, I just have to be in my zone for it. So anyhow, that one's that. Here is another place. <laughs> this is in our bedroom and it's my husband's side. We have a spiral brown notebook. And when we are at in bed at night and we're like, oh my gosh, we sometimes will text each other messages for our brain dumps. But what has really worked is we keep this on the, on, on our, on the dresser and uh, with a pen, we will write down a brain dump, take a picture and send it to ourselves to get it out of our brain. And I'm not gonna flip through this. There's very personal information. There's like phone numbers, there's like stuff in here. But we really, really use this in our actual bedroom if we ever need it. <laughs> We've got like little slavender, we've got the remote, we got like lotion, primatine, like um, we've got Alexa. <laughs> but um, this is actually another spot that we use for planning or I use. Well, that concludes the areas of where I plan, the areas where I have certain notebooks or systems at. Um, and what I use them for. These are my main planners and this is like my main area of where I sit. But I thought it would be fun to kind of show you the different things throughout the house that I use for resources, for planning, for lists, for notes, for just, yeah, things. Thanks for watching.